So what we're going to do is talk a little bit about siphons. Now siphons are kind of like a platform for MadMapper to read certain graphics files and you can manipulate them via another source and it won't slow down any of your processing speed in MadMapper. So let's do a MadMapper siphon called Equalizer. And it's kind of like an audio equalizer where it's going to give you kind of the patterns of the frequencies of volume and range while when it hears something via the microphone on the computer. So let's pull it up here. I have it down here. I'm going to open it up. Okay, so this is an equalizer here. And when I open this up, and in Mad Mapper, I now see that it says siphon. So when I click here, and then let's make a new object, boom, and also let's double check our settings. It always loves doing that. Okay, so we have our grid pattern here. And let's click back on it. And we can turn it on. Test, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. As you can see, it's working with Mad Mapper. And let's say I wanted to change the hue. Test, one, two, test, one, two, test, 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 one, two, hue offset. Test, one, two. As you can see, it's changing a little bit. Let's bring the gain down. Test, one, two, and that's how sensitive it is. Test, one, two. And let's make 10 by 10. And turn our lines off. And there you have a equalizer that's going with the sound. And we can now map this in Mad Mapper. So we just click over here, and it's still pulling it up. And if we ever needed to change it, we just pull it right back up. Say we wanted to put lines back on, close that out, and then we have lines. And we'll actually keep the lines on for now because I think it's a good exercise. And what we do have here is, let me just turn this off for now. Now what we have here is this, this blank wall that I've constructed some shapes to emulate a tunnel. And let's put our equalizer into four different, five different segments. The centerpiece, the left grid, right grid, top, and bottom of that centerpiece. So what we want to do is go back to our test card and turn on checkerboard. And let's turn our opacity back up. So we want to scale this down. So where it's taking up this center box. It's like a horizon line. And let's make another one. And now let's scale this down a little. And let's take this over our top. Grab that there. Now let's turn our equalizer back on so we can kind of get a better idea of what's going on here. Test, one, two, test. And let's turn off this center one because I'm not sure if we're going to use the equalizer in the middle there. So let's just go here and then turn our opacity down. Test, one, two, test, one, two. So let's go back to our equalizer and I want to turn off these. I don't want to see these lines. Test, one, two, test, test, test. One, two, test, test. One, two, test, 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 test. So that looks pretty good. Duplicate this. So let's hit Apple D. I'll bring this down where those, where these two line up right there. And we can kind of just leave those there and then take our top right and drag this all the way down to our bottom right. Then our top left, drag it all the way down to the bottom left. And C, test, one, two. And let's say we wanted maybe to flop this one. We can go here and flip. So test one, two, test one, two. Now this way it puts it in the total opposite direction. And I kind of actually like that. I think it adds a little bit of uh, depth and a different look at it. And you see how it's 
touching a little bit right here. So let's bring that down, bring that down, down, down. There we go. Okay. So now what we can do is duplicate another one. Lock that in, pull this one over there. Boom. Then take this one all the way up there. And like I said, by playing around this, you'll get the hang of it real quick. It's not hard at all. Okay, test one, two. Now I want to flip this back to where it was. Test one, two, test one, two, three, test, test, one, two, test, 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 one, two. Now I, let's see. Okay, I want to have this top one flipped like our bottom one. Test one, two, test, test, one, two, test, test, test. Okay, so now we can take this one on our left here and copy it. And like I said, remember, just bring it here so you have these, your corners here lined up right. And then you just drag this bottom one all the way to the opposite side. Drag this guy all the way over here. All right, test one, two, test, test. One, two, three. Let's play some cool music. Maybe by Big Folk. No music by Big Folk. That's embarrassing. All right, here we go. And now I'm gonna pull up the graph. But I think we do need something in the middle there. So let's just turn it back on for now. So let's go here and turn this bad boy back on. Test, test, one, two. Test, 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 test. Okay, we'll just go with that. So let's hit the music again. We can pull up our graphic pattern here. Nope, it's not graphics. Okay, let's say we wanted hue offset to be a little different, see? The hue, more blue. And then if we increase the scale, and if we pull the de decreasing scale all the way down, it doesn't do anything. Turn all the way up, it's just strobes. So pretty cool stuff. So siphons are a really cool thing to know. Um, let's pull up while we're at it. So you've seen the graphic EQ. Now there's a, let's just quit this and let's pull up our graphic patterns. And now let's go over here and apply it. Okay, so that looks like a jumbled mess. And the reason why is because it's not set to the way we had it because the equalizer was just one even block, but you have all these different patterns. So let's, the centerpiece, let's just grab maybe this tunnel here. And let's make this so it fits the whole thing. All right. Wow, it's pretty busy, isn't it? Okay. So let's make, let's use, all these patterns like this. Okay, so if we go to our graphic pattern here, our siphon, uh, it's also, let's set it to 1920 by 1080. That'll make it scale a little better. We can choose the speed of our card is full. Okay, and we can choose the speed of our, of these graphics. So let's just have them kind of go at crazy speed. And I think I want this surface here to be bigger.
And also I want it to go the other way. So let's rotate it. Okay, that's kind of trippy looking. And like I said, it's a pretty simple technique and it creates a lot of cool things and siphons are definitely the way to have a lot more and siphons are a nice way to experiment and play around with Mad Mapper and visual effects a lot more than you would able to if you just brought in clips. This is great to have obviously because they're really cool looking clips but once they're here I can't do anything with them. This is just Siphons are definitely the next step in getting better control of what you're projecting. I'd like to thank Mad Mapper for giving me the full version of Mad Mapper. It's really nice to have the full version, but it really is the same software regardless if you have the demo or the full. It's just nice to have the full resolution and the full playback rate. So. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Talk to you soon. Bye.